A few days ago, I created a YouTube poll uh, given to my subscribers asking out of four um, JavaScript array methods, which one would you uh, choose if you couldn't use the other three ever again? So the options were array map, array filter, array reduce, and array every. So basically pick one of these um, and you can't use the rest of them. Most of you went for array map. Understandably, it's a pretty powerful function which gets used quite a bit uh, when you're building front-end applications or even on the back end. But there is a semi-correct answer to this question uh, which was pointed out by one of uh, the commenters and that is uh, the array reduce method would probably be uh, the most optimal pick. The reason for that is because array reduce can uh, replicate the behavior of many other JavaScript array methods, including all of those listed uh, aside from it. So in other words, you can create your own version of array map, array filter, array every, and many other array methods using array reduce. And of course, I'm gonna be showing you how to do that in this video. But just keep in mind that if you don't know array reduce already, I recommend you watch my previous video on uh, that method before continuing with this one. So let's jump into the first example. Okay, let's begin with array map. How do we achieve the same functionality using array reduce that array map gives us? Well, let's begin with an example to work with. Okay, so right here, I'm gonna make a new constant called numbers equal to an array. We'll say one, two, three, four, and five. Now, our objective, our target result is to double each number in the array. And of course, typically we'd use map to achieve this. We're gonna use reduce. So we'll say here, const doubled is equal to numbers dot reduce. Now again, if you don't know how the reduce method works, I recommend watching my previous video on the function or the method before continuing. But right here, from numbers.reduce, we're gonna pass in a callback function with the current results. In other words, what will eventually be in place of doubled, okay? What the eventual result is gonna be, it's gonna be an array because of course, uh, map returns an array. So we need to also return an array here. So results, then also the current number, we'll use n for short. So this arrow function, we just hop down here. We're gonna, of course, implement it very shortly. The initial value for this is gonna be an empty array, just like this. So for the first number one, when this function runs, the result is gonna be an empty array, giving us the, yeah, the, the initial array to then build up on and perform the operation on, okay? Now, what do we do? Well, we simply double the number. So here we're gonna say result dot, push, okay? Then say here, n multiplied by two, then return the result. So in this case here, we're gonna get the number one, it's gonna run this function, it's gonna say the empty array, the initial value, dot push, let's add one times two to that empty array, then it returns the result. When it runs for number two, result is gonna be the array with the uh, one times two in it from the previous uh, iteration, then you simply add to that array. So if I say console.log doubled, save this, run the script, we then get 246810, giving us the doubled version of that numbers array. Next up, we're gonna have a look at filter. How do we implement filter using reduce? Well, in this example, we're gonna start with an array of names and we're gonna be filtering out the names which only um, contain the letter J as their first character. So we'll say here, const names is equal to, then say uh, John, we'll do Paul, uh, George, and then lastly, Jeff. Okay, so of course, in this example, we wanna see John and Jeff in our resulting array because they both uh, begin with J. So here we're gonna say const filtered is equal to names.reduce once again. In this case here, we're gonna also uh, take in a result just like map, it's gonna be an array because once again, filter returns an array as the eventual result. So reduce uh, result N short for name this time. Then of course the arrow function, 
with the starting value of, you guessed it, it's going to be an empty array. Okay, so hopping down here, what is this going to look like? Well, we need to check if the name begins with a J. We'll say if n dot starts with the letter J, then we say results dot push and we add the name. Otherwise, don't do anything and simply return the current result. So this is very similar to the previous example with map, but this time we simply add a condition around that push and of course we don't modify it. I mean, you could even do more complicated things like for example, push the doubled number or if, you know, if it was a number as an example, you can of course combine these things, so map and filter if you like, but uh, typically you'd probably just do a chain on that. But regardless, let's stay on topic here. We have the uh, filtered array. So if I was to hop down here, I can say console.log. What do we get for filter? Let's of course double check this actually works. Node filtered.js and we get John and Jeff as our resulting filtered array. And lastly, we have the every method. How do we implement every using array reduce? Okay, now this one here is going to be slightly different because the previous two examples, map and filter, both give you an array as your return result. Every gives you a boolean. So this here is going to, of course, affect what the initial value is and what the result is uh, when using our reduce method. So let's get an example on the way. So we'll say const fruits is equal to then specify some fruits. We'll say apple, orange, uh, banana, and then we'll say, uh, what are we going to say here? One second, uh, cherry. Okay. So most of these fruits here have an A in their name. Apple, A, orange, A, banana, A. Cherry does not. So we're looking to see if every fruit contains an A or the fruits in the list. Of course, in this case here, we're going to get false as the return value because cherry doesn't contain an A. So let's do this using array reduce. We'll say const result is equal to fruits dot reduce. Now, once again, taking in the callback function, uh, giving the result and uh, alongside uh, the, the fruit, so short for F or uh, F short for fruit there. Now, the initial value is going to be true, okay? I made a previous video covering array every in two minutes and I demonstrated that if you provide uh, or if you try to use array every on an empty array, then you get true as your result. So we're going to start with true. We're going to assume that the condition is correct. Every fruit contains an A. That's our assumption. But of course, we need to check that that is the case. So it's going to run for Apple, this function here, first up, okay? And it's going to say result is currently true. So we're assuming it's true at, uh, at the moment. So we're going to say return results and fruits dot includes the character A, okay? It's going to run for Apple. It's going to say yes, true, because that's the initial value. So true and yes, Apple includes A. Therefore, true and true gives us true. It's going to get down to Cherry and it's going to say true and does Cherry include A? No. Okay, so you get false there. And therefore, your eventual result is going to be uh, false because from Cherry and onwards, result is going to be false. So it'll never be, it'll never be, uh, it'll never be true ever again, if that makes sense. So I can now say console.log results, okay? And I can say node every.js and we get false. And one thing to clarify here is that this result, right, is a different variable to this one out here. To make it clearer, let's rename this one to just be something like all fruits contain character A, okay? Makes it a bit clearer. Same thing, run it again. There we go. And that is all for this one. If this video helped you out, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to Decode. And here is another video.